Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you see me wearing this headband, this is because I have a very bad hair day. So I wanted first just to pull it off for the purpose of applying makeup, but then I said no, this will stay. In today's video, we are going to play with a makeup that I received in my latest uh, Beautylish Lucky bag. I wanted to come up with a uh, follow-up and let you know how those products apply. Some of them I already applied and I have a feedback and some of them they are new to me. We are going to discover them together. And yeah, if you are interested to also hear my thoughts related to the Beautylish Lucky Bag and whether I'm going to get it or not or do I recommend it for the upcoming years, then just carry on watching. All right, let's go ahead. I hope I did not forget to record the intro. So I'm going to start off with the SPF that I received from the brand Holy Frog. Holy moly frog. So this is a tube. I see here we have 60 ml, so two fluid ounces. Now I have used this one time and I did notice that it peels a little bit after under your foundation. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to like it today. It's a tinted SPF as you can tell and I have another SPF underneath. It's a cream with SPF from Elemis. So what are my thoughts after getting Beautylish Lucky Bag for the fourth year I would say. For the first year I discovered two things that I'm going I kept repurchasing. So first I have discovered or they have put on the bag on my Lucky Bag the Sonia G flat definer brush. So this is how I started my journey to Fude. Because after that I went and purchased Refre because I knew there are the budget friendly alternative for Fude and later on I went and purchased my first Sonia G brush set and after that everything is history. Now I have a ton of brushes from Sonia G and Refre and not only. So yeah, second year it was so and so. I think I was the most disappointed. On second year I have not received any brush from Sonia G. I received a unit a brush set like I received this year and I received a um, let me show it to you this palette the face glam by Natasha Denona. Now many people loved this palette but to me I don't know I have plenty of this type of eyeshadow palettes and that I don't feel that I'm using it enough so she doesn't get so much love. This year is the first year when I'm uh, totally or uh, almost satisfied with everything I received. So as uh, you remember I received the Glam palette by Natasha Denona which is an eyeshadow palette. I'm going to try it later but I want to say that money per money I really don't think that Beautylish Lucky Bag at least the standard bag it's really worth getting it. I'm just getting it and this year I was almost not wanting to get it because of the experience. It's part of the Christmas tradition. It's something that I do on the second day of Christmas and then all the waiting, I don't know, brings me joy thinking that I'm going to receive my beauty dish bag and I'm going to be excited what is inside. It's some a feeling of joy. But I'm not sure if this, this joy worth anymore. They have increased the prices for everyone, but they haven't changed the product. So you get the same deal. You get a few in-house brands. You get the same, almost the same brands. This year they included Surat. So this is a new brand to their lucky bag. But you get the same variation of products. And to me, to get the XL bag, which is the most exciting one, would be too much because I need to ship it to my US address and pay double shipping plus duties. So it really doesn't work. So at the end, it will cost me almost the price of the products inside. And if it happens that the products are not suitable to me, then it will be a problem. So I'm going to try the lipstick in the shade Lady Ladybug. I forgot to mention when I did the unboxing, this is in the shade Ladybug and I think most of people got the same shade. I'm going to use the Wayne Goss, the essential lip pencil in the shade Berry, natural berry. This I did not receive it in the lucky bag. Maybe I think I need something more colorful. So let's go with the shade Cinnamon from the same line. 
from Wayne Gus. I have seen someone getting a Wayne Gus lucky bag and I think it was worth the, the value. Now I do not recall if that was 75 US dollars or 150 US dollars but the, the products inside were really nice. So now going with the Surat lipstick. It's really creamy so I heard that after initial application it will stain your lips but in the meantime you are still going to get the comfort of um, hydration and it's not a very colorful it's a forgiving shade for the foundation and concealer I'm going to go with the L'Oreal 34 32 hour infallible foundation and the Lancome Tan Idol Ultra Wear. I'm going to have the shades listed down below in my description box. All right, let's see if the uh, SPF peels off underneath foundation. I did not want to show you the foundation application to cut the length of the video, but for the sake of that, I'm going to see. I did not apply any primer and I have my right light off left side in uh, the monitor, so that's why it's more natural. So I do not believe that the SPF has peeled underneath my foundation but the other day after I applied this SPF I also applied my regular primer and it was peeling off especially on the forehead so I was afraid about that but not using a primer I think it's a better option for this SPF for this tinted SPF so this combination works maybe you can use this instead of primer but I love it definitely I love it the fact that it's tinted and the, if it peels if it really peels then you can use this SPF with a powder foundation on top concealer and you're good to go you are more natural because the SPF also gives you coverage so now I'm going to apply the concealer and go with the makeup by Mario, the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. Alright, I finished with the face and I wanted to say that when I did my roundup for the favorite of 2023, I totally forgot about this foundation. So this is one of the best products that I could discover in 2023, the infallible 34 hour fresh wear, the new reformulated one. Now it's not that new, but it was new for 2023. And I've seen that it's not yet released in the North America. I'm not sure about Canada, but I haven't seen my friends from the US having this. It's an amazing, amazing product. I'm looking forward to see what else L'Oreal is going to reformulate for 2024. Returning to the eyeshadow palette that I wanted to try in today's video, trying also to record a reel for my TikTok. Also, I'm going to use the brushes from the Unit series 200. I have not washed them, I want to say. And I also discovered that I have already purchased the brush 203, which is a like a blending brush. So this I remember I purchased and I think I wanted to purchase the whole set, but it was sold out. So that's the reason I have only one brush. I'm going to take the brush 205, which is the fluffiest, largest brush. And I'm going to take the shade Let's go for a more pink look. Let's go for a Valentine appropriate look. I'm going to take the shade Holly, which is the lighter blushy pink. So run that through my crease. It's quite light on me, but the brush is really good. It blends well. It, it diffuses the shadows like a dream. You can see that I have just a wash of color. So I'm going probably to go for a subtle look. The next shade I'm going to get the shade the brush 201 but first I'm going to run that through my uh, lower lashes because I don't want to do it after I use a darker shade and now I'm going to take the shade Bell. Using the same shade and the same brush on my lower lashes. Moving on, I am going now with uh, the shade Maxi and I'm going to add that to my outer V. I think I need a flat brush. So I'm going to take the Sonia G flat definer because that helps to pack the product. I can tell the difference. 
I'm going to take the brush you need, 202, and the shade Flutter. Oh, this is like a topper shade. It's not really visible. Okay, then I'm going to take the shade Oscar. Yes, this is exactly what I had in mind. So, recording in the meantime, vertical and horizontal <laughs> can be challenging. And flipping the brush to using the clean side from the same brush, Yun 202, I am now going to take this shade that is called Flare. It's not that pigmented as I thought. And also, the pan is flimsy. I think I have uh, finished. Maybe I will just intensify a bit the outer V. And what left on the brush, I'm going to run it on my lower lashes. I'm going to get or take the Wayne Gas Granite Eye Pencil because this look requires a waterline. Oh my God, this is the best formula I ever seen for my waterline. They are even better than the Makeup by Mario. When you swatch it, it almost doesn't swatch. I don't know. But when you run it through your waterline, Wayne Gas Call Aligners, to me, those are the best formula for a call aligner to apply it on your waterline. And I also want to do my wing liner. Fortunately, I have hold it too much. The Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Water, whatever is the name, and it's almost dry. Because I got it a few years back and I never use it. But this is by far one of my most favorite liquid liners. I'm going now to apply the mascara. This is the Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara. I'm not a big fan of their original Lash Paradise. I never really understood the hype. That was flaking on me. But oh my god, the waterproof version is amazing. It's not a tubing mascara, it's just a waterproof mascara. And I also hate waterproof mascara because they are difficult to remove. But this removes really easily and doesn't clump on me. And also the brush, it's slightly smaller. I'm afraid that it might be discontinued. Because I got it maybe two years ago, I don't remember, or last year. So if you see it, grab it. I highly recommend it. It's one of the gems that I discovered. I'm so happy with this mascara. This is mostly the final look. Now I want to try the blush or maybe let's first add the bronzer because I have just a cream bronzer and I accidentally touched it and it moved a bit. This is the Pat McGrath bronzer in the Ref05 brush. So now I want to use the blush from uh, the box. So this is looking very pale on camera but it's not that pale maybe i can use the finger Ooh, this is not a good idea it's not a good idea with this makeup going to grab another blush it's not working for the complexion that i already have so this is the uh, natasha denona blush and add a bit of uh, the highlighter on top and that's my friends, my full face of makeup using all the products or the, all the makeup products that I received in the Beautylish Lucky bag. So I think we are going to sign off here. Definitely let me know what do you think about the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. I would say it's a more subtle, more spring pastel appropriate eyeshadow palette. I only use a few products or a few shades and they are not very pigmented, but I, I'm loving the, the way that my look came out. It's pretty nice. I think I'm going to keep the band on because if I remove it, my hair, it's a real, real mess because I did not wash it. I wanted to wash it yesterday, but I was too lazy. Also love this rat lippy. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I want to wish you all a wonderful day ahead.